Jo Swinson, joins us from Bournemouth now. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good to be with you. Um, how will it work in practice if you're going to cancel Brexit without a referendum? We will revoke Article 50. Never mind the 17.5 million people who voted for it. If we... Uh, did come to power and I was Prime Minister having stood on a platform of revoking Article 50 and then didn't sounds, do so. It like you're that saying that that's so unlikely to happen that it no, won't be an issue. I, I, I wonder if a general election majority for the Lib Dems is enough for you to scrap Brexit. Why is an SNP Holy, majority at Holyrood not enough for them to have another independence referendum? I think what's, what's from the SNP is very different because they're talking about layering more chaos, more uncertainty onto already difficult times. Some and the I SNP don't think that's would in the best interests that, of Scotland. Some in the SNP would say it's not more chaos, actually. It makes things an awful lot clearer. They don't have to put up with those at Westminster. Are you expecting any more defections? But if you keep accepting Tory politicians, the likes of Philip Lee and Sam Jima, into the party, are you not running a risk that they're going to take it further to the right? If the Liberal Democrats are um, a broad church and, and, and open to offers, are you going to make, uh, take part in this so-called Remain alliance in the next general election where you just decide not to stand candidates in certain areas where somebody else who opposes Brexit has a better chance of winning? So, you know, that happened already and so is successful. So could you see yourself we're doing in, that, um, perhaps uh, well, taking, taking we, a step back and allowing Labour to win a seat, for instance? Where we agree uh, with, uh, with others on stopping Brexit, it, uh, then we are in we are in those discussions. Well, they want a, they I want a second uh, a people's a people's vote, a second referendum now. So you're ruling out a pact with Labour after the next general election, even if it would lead away to a, to a second referendum on Brexit. Joe Swinson, leader of the Liberal Democrats, thank you very much indeed for your time this morning.